we've got six o'clock, so we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start with the pledge and then the invocation. James, will you do the invocation tonight? All right. Okay. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you've granted us to to stand in the gap for our city. We pray, Father, that we be guided by your wisdom and not just our own. And Father, I pray that you bless those that have come here tonight to help us. And I pray, Father, that we do what is what be glory in your eyes and what is honest in your eyes. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Well, welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, Commissioner Davis is in Florida. I don't feel bad for him. No, no, I'm a little jealous. Commissioner Robinson sent me a message that she was ill. So I definitely. I do. Don't want to be in her. Don't, yeah, I see. Just. And Av is stuck in Norfolk, Virginia. That don't sound like. He said, "If you have anything with me, I'll call you Wednesday." <laughs> okay. So we're going to, to get started and get this on the road. So we'll start with approval of minutes. Move approved minutes. I'll second it. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. In the bills? I make a motion to approve the bills. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passed. All business. First items approve the second reading of the 2019 tax rate ordinance, which is. We passed the first reading last month. I make a motion we accept the second reading. I second that. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? I have a question. We didn't have any changes we wanted to make to it, did we? No. Okay. okay. Those in favor signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item under old business is the KLC liability grant correction. Yeah, I think we was applying for the roof better, and we actually are going to uh, apply for the sidewalk safety grant. Since we're going to do the sidewalk safety anyway. Well, we, when will they announce that? Yeah, that's not until like November 4th or 3rd or something. So I guess shortly after, I think. Any problem with us going ahead and doing it? If it no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, no We will need that in the form of a motion since we had already approved it for the sewer equipment. It was a make motion to apply for the grant for sewer equipment. Well, to correct it in going correct. from the sewer equipment correct. to the second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying aye. 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 Opposed same. Motion passes. New business. First item. We've got Actually, we have three spots on planning and zoning open to replace Mr. Crump, who's no longer on planning and zoning. Uh, Larry Arnold will be leaving at the end of December. And yeah, Larry was planning on it. And uh, Kelly Reisinger, her job's taken her away a whole lot more than it was, and she's asked. So, so I do have two here tonight. We'd like to uh, have approval for Larry Taft, the planning and zoning board. He is uh, Josh Tishner's married to Dinah. He's Josh's mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for for hey. Josh. I mean, on, when he says Josh's name, not on Dinah. Okay, I move proof Larry Tate for the Planning and Zoning Board. Tap, tap, right? Tap, tap. Uh -huh. Y'all don't have to do this. I was just, I was just wondering if that needed a second. Yeah, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And that motion passes. And the other one up for approval is John Smith. Is it John Smith? I know with the car mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion we accept John on planning this Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. James, do you have anything to? I cannot think of anything. I will say this uh, because we we dedicated the Habitat for Humanity House, 
Sunday. That was a very nice gathering that mm -hmm. come out there and the house <coughs> really looks good and it sets well on the lots. It's going to be a really nice upgrade for that community. And if you haven't been by to look at it, you ought to go by and look at it. And uh, uh, the other thing, I went by Larry and them had done uh, the work where we had the group here needing the ditch fixed over in the subdivision. And I went by when we had that five inches of rain the other day when Hartford only got a half an inch. I guess we just deserved more. And, uh, but I went by over there and that was really working well, really working well. And I went by where we would had a problem on Rainwater Drive. I know that isn't my thing, but I went up and looked at that and it looked like that was doing a lot better than it had. Uh, when they when they were upset about it, so I do want to give Larry and his department a great amount of credit for what they did, and it actually it looks really nice, really looks nice. They still had water problems. Yeah, they still had water problems yeah. up above. But there's like we told them that night, there's nothing we can do. That's there, that there. just can't be fixed. That's not unless they want to go on their own lots and dig deep ponds. Because I mean, it just water can't get away the way it's set up, mm -hmm. and that's not our fault. No. So. Charles, uh, nothing with police and fire, but I like to do something about I had one street light that brought to my attention that we need to upgrade. It's at Sheffield Corner. There's one up there, but there's a visitor from out of town came through, and they don't know. We get a lot more visitors from out of town, and they uh, said they almost missed 62 because they could that they were a little dimmer. They thought it'd be at a big intersection like that. So uh, there's one on either side of Travis Wilson. I found the north or south side. But if we upgrade that one first, the broadest bigger we can get, then see if it works. If not, then we'll look to find a second one. That'd be a resolution. We'll need, yeah, we'll need to approve a resolution for. Okay, well, if you can get that ready for us to approve, appreciate it. Do you need that way to where you get it written up, or can we do that? You can go into it right now. Well, I just moved to approve the resolution for upgrading the street light at Sheffield Corner. Or to the intersection 62 and 231. Okay, you would know what Sheffield Corner would be. <laughs> 762 East. I'll second that. If he, if he have that motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Larry, do you have anything? No, I don't know. Mr. Pratchett? Uh, so, no root cutter for the KLC grant. Instead, you're switching to. The sidewalk safety. Well, we have sidewalks that have a quarter inch or more difference in elevation. They're com there'll be a company coming in and you know, okay. doing the sidewalks. Repaired? Or yeah, I think from, from the old post office all the way to 62. Still the same price? What was it, 3000 yeah. Well, I think it's up to $3,000. It'll be $1,500, but the sidewalk yeah. safety, I think, is going to be quite a bit more than that. Which 62? 62 West. East. It doesn't go all the way out to Rodney's? I, I think the price they give me was only the 62 East. Does that include cleaning them, edging them, and everything? No, no, no. They need it. Well, we haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> That'd be a wintertime project. So okay. you're, you're going to get the grant to pay a portion, a portion of it. A portion of it. Okay. That's... I was going to say, there's not too many people younger than me who would know what Sheffield Corner is. So. And I wasn't really sure at first, but <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't know what that's in this room. David? Um, just a few things from last month's safety day went real good. Uh, we appreciate y'all having some support. We yeah. appreciate everything y'all did to put that together. There's 74 kids come through the registry, so one kid got something out of it. We did a good job, I guess. Uh, the bird man's off. I'm sure y'all know that. So I can burn my brush pile in the backyard now? After six. After six. Yeah, no, that's what's killing me. <laughs> the county, through the association, they're doing a thing called Sound the Alarm. It's a, uh, through Red Cross. And what it is, is free smoke alarm for anybody that needs one or wants one. There's no stipulations on income or type of house or anything. And they're wanting the fire departments to go out and install when they get them in. So I guess I need to just check to see if we're okay with installing them or if we just need to give them to the homeowner and let the homeowner do it. Installing what? Uh, smoke alarms. I know what our insurance was like. I know yeah. what AD would say. I know. Here's your free smoke alarm. Well, you know. And that's fine. Yeah. But I just I wanted to I check. I believe that'd be the best. 
We, we had three so far last month, and I just gave them two residents. But I wasn't real sure on that at the time. Um, what is it? Gas meter. Oh, the gas meter, yeah. We ordered a gas meter. For years, we got called out on carbon monoxide, different things like that, and we pretty much walk in blind and try to use the old sniffer test, and that just doesn't work. Um, carbon monoxide, you can't see it, you can't smell it, it's real dangerous. So we partnered up with the county. The county's going to pay half of it, we're going to pay the other half, and we've got a four gas gas detector on its way. So it's the uh, same one that Atmos uses. We got contacted them to see what they use. So it's what they recommended. They should be able to calibrate it for us. And then we also bought what you call a char tool. It's a new tool they've got out. It makes a lot of overhaul process a lot easier, simpler. does a lot of real quick work real fast. We use some of our fundraising from the safety deal left over and purchase some new tools that we was needing there. We got seven minutes. That's all I've got. Okay. Mike? Uh, we're not having much success, luck, whatever, getting certified applicants. So uh, I'd like to ask permission to go ahead and start advertising for non certified. Not what I want to do. But, I know. Yeah. And we'll still take you know, both. But, oh, yeah. But, uh, so, I mean, it does not make this the uh, application for certified and non certified. Yeah. That way you advertise that way. So I'll move that we advertise for certified and non certified. I'll second motion. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Okay, those in favor, saying by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. When will that start? Will you be able to get it in paper with this start this week? or? I can send it in the morning, yeah, before the deadline. And you guys do that kind of stuff too? And Will you advertise anywhere else? Mm, I don't think we did, did we, Mary? We put it on that KLC. Yeah, we did put it on KLC. For yeah. days. But that was I didn't know if there was anything through police or law enforcement um, we sites or. KLC. Uh, I might check with Richmond. Uh, but I don't think they did. I mean, they Orphan. had billboards up there from Bowling Green at the Academy. Come to Bowling Green. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, I will get somebody. We're, we're making it on. This might be a bad idea, but does Indeed allow law enforcement to advertise on it? Do what now? Indeed. Oh, that one. I'm not sure if it's got law enforcement or not on it. I, I don't website. know. I know they do nurses and a lot of professional things. I'm not sure about that. But there's just, there's, there's just not any certified officer. And you couldn't get him, you can't even get anybody in the academy before February or March, can you? And that was that was a couple that, weeks ago. Be lucky if I can get yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we're talking about yeah, a lot can we call and hold a spot for a, even though you don't have a name to put on it yet? Well, they they won't do that. They, they were talking about that at the KLC meeting. Yeah, that's Everybody's a big. Yeah, Everybody's having trouble finding out. Everybody's having trouble finding out. Maybe there's going to be a few listeners. But that's about, about it. We're doing all right right now. We're just, uh, we have a few hours all the time here and there, so just so you know that. So we're almost of course we're more short. shorthanded ones. Yeah. You have a few hours here and there. Okay. All righty. But that's it. Everything else is good. All right. Jay, don't want to save the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> I've spoken to some of you all, I guess, directly and indirectly. Um, I'm built on the end of Phelps Avenue, uh, which um, is three streets, uh, four streets behind Limestone Bay. Um, I've been told this year, I don't think there's any plans of putting anything back there short of a street. Um, plat map for me shows that Phelps Avenue kind of extends on down. Um, it has access to four lots, two of which are mine, and then the neighbor and the other side as far as that goes, uh, which I grab to give access to Hill and whatnot, but the roads, I mean, not in great shape as far as that goes, so I didn't know as far as future plans with uh, what that could consist of or, or what I needed to do as far as that goes. And I've got pictures and, and the maps if you, if you guys want to see reference. But. It just, it's the pavement stopped at your line, didn't it? Um, it, it stops, well, the pavement stops actually in my neighbor before me, and they have a lot beside them. Okay, that's. Uh, there's four lots total, and, and two of them are mine, um, as far as that goes. 
Stops Which side are you building on? Same side as Reno's or the other side? The other side. So okay. Reno has like the, the pie shape there on the left. And then the okay, so they own the other two across. They're the other property owner. They own the two across from you? They own the pie shape and then the uh, McCree's. I think it's the McCree's own. Uh, what's, it's headed like a playground on it right now, but it's just actually a separate lot from what they own. And then I have my two lots past that. But the gravel stops before their, uh, before their second lot. Or it stops right at their second lot. They have some visuals tied up in a lawsuit for years. Oh yeah, I know. And you know that the plant does show that it is a city. It is a street, but nowhere has it been accepted by the city that portion. That was when uh, Rick Hill and Dudley Cooper, with the fiscal court, had paved all that. You know, we we haven't put no money in it. So, you know, according to our ordinances, we don't accept the street until it meets our standards. So that's kind of where it's at. It was kind of messed up when it came in because of the lawsuits that were taking place up there. And we'll gonna, we'll get probably get to it when we can, but it's going to be a process. Okay. Is there anything I need to do uh, before then, or I mean, as far as that goes, or, or what uh, to get it up to standards? I mean, as far as uh, anything I can do, or uh, I know there is a fire hydrant on down there as well. Um, as far as that goes, I didn't know that. That's when we went in and the homeowners, we had a meeting with them and everybody that owned a lot participated paying Mac over putting it in and then some of them, no one of them, one, one family that owned four lots when it was all said and done decided not to pay. So there went another loss, another lawsuit. So just kind of a a bad deal, I guess, all the way around. We have to see if physical court can help them more. I can do say no. That's right. Well, <laughs> before Jay Dillon's thing, to get it up to standards, it, was it 18 foot? 20? 18 foot wide, two, two inches, uh, six inches of gravel, two inches of base, inches of surface. It's up. You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> Six inches of gravel, two inches of base coat, and one inch of surface. I wonder how much gravel's on it. I don't know. Was there any gravel on there? I mean, I know, I mean, even there under the grass. There was a lot that uh, Reno was mowing at the time, and then... Um, I thought maybe there might have been some gravel, you know, and the grass about, grew up through it or something. There was about 10 to 20 foot um, of gravel, yeah. and then I extended it on so. Six inches of gravel, two inch base, and you said one inch surface. Yeah, right. Okay. What's the distance you think that would to get to your line? I know they have a hundred foot lot. I have a hundred foot lot, and I think my second one is 170, but it didn't quite extend uh, that far. It was probably more like 300, I guess, as far as that goes. to Jason and say discretionary money would may have to be done over a couple times. May do part of it one way and part of it another. Do you know Jason Bullock? Um, I know other ones personally. We may connect you all too. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> to, <laughs> Everybody get in line. Jason's great to work with. Really, really, really good to work with. I'll get a hold of Jason and hook up. Connect with you too and see what we can. And I say it may take a while, it may probably will. <laughs> but. Have you started building yet? Um, moved in. Oh, you're already. Yeah, so you better get the more gravel before winter gets here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, good deal.
Mary, anything? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't have anything. This is. Ready to adjourn? Ready to adjourn? Ready to adjourn. <laughs>